Okay, I want to show you how to set up the Wi-Fi on your machine, and this is uh, including the Wi-Fi card, which is called the uh, Broadcat card. So the very first thing we want to do, and I should mention, it comes set up to some degree from us. So if you have an open network, a network that doesn't have any uh, authentication, no passwords, then it should work with you simply putting the card in. Uh, if you don't have an open network, what we need to do is click on Start. We're going to go down here to Settings and click. Now we want to go down to the bottom tabs and click on Connections. And again, we're going to click on the Connections icon. And then we want to come down and click on Advanced. And we're going to click one more time on Select Networks. Now, in this top box, this is called a drop-down box, and you can see the little black arrow here. You want to click on this, and you'll see the choice for My Work Network. In 99 cases out of 100, this needs to be set to My Work Network to be able to make an Internet connection. So that's what we're going to use. Now we click OK. And now come down again to the tabs on the bottom and click on TAS. Go up to where it says Set Up My Proxy Server. Click on that. And make sure this box here is checked that says this network connects to the Internet. Do not check anything else. Do not fill anything else in. This is uh, all you want. And we're going to click OK and OK again. And we're going to click on the X here. It's called Xing out to get out of this. And now we're back at our beginning. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and insert the wireless card in this machine. Hang on for just one second. Now, you may or may not have this box pop up that says Unrecognized Card. If you do have it come up, you want to type in XI825. And I'm going to do that right now. XI825. What this does is it lets the machine recognize the card we're using. Okay, and we have now finished our setup. If, that is, you have an open network. Now, what if you have a secured network, meaning what if you need a password to get on? Well, it's a little more intense if that's the case. Uh, the passwords are called web keys, and you should have one already from the people who set up your network. If you don't have it, you're going to have to get it from them. The way we configure this machine is we're going to click on Start. We're going to go again uh, to Settings. Um, we're going to click on System this time. Now you'll see at the bottom here this icon that's called Wireless LAN Settings. We're going to uh, click on that. And you can see it's bringing up a, a box with some tabs here. Now, uh, one or two things you might want to take note of. You can see here the link quality and signal strength. We have good signal strength, meaning the card is talking to the machine and the machine is talking to the Internet. But they're, just because they're talking to each other doesn't mean that they can fully communicate. So there are a couple of things we need to do. We need to come over here to Security and click on that. Now this is going to be where we put in our password. Uh, not only do you need to know whether you have a web key, you need to know whether it's a 40-bit web key or a 128-bit web key. That is decided by how long the key is. I believe, if I remember right, a 40-bit is 10 characters and a 128-bit is 26 characters. So what we would do is we would click on Enable. We would click the appropriate web key length here. Now, uh, 
web key type, there are three possible settings. Character, hex, or passphrase. Character setting is just your normal old uh, alphabet. It could be something like uh, A1337382. Um, hex is usually pairs of numbers, numbers that are between 1 and 10. A passphrase is a little different. A passphrase is a simpler way to find a web key. What, what happens is the computer allows you to click on uh, something called pass uh, phrase and then I could click in here and type a phrase like uh, Merry Little Lamb and from that pass phrase it would generate a web key. Um, so this is all information you can get from the tech support people of the uh, people who set up your network, the people who sold you your router. Uh, so what we're going to uh, do here is we come to authentication type, we click on that, and we're going to click on shared key. And now uh, we have four possibilities, keys one through four. Almost always it's key one. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight that and backspace it out and type in your web key, uh, whichever sort it is, whether it's character, hex, or passphrase. Now, um, I hope this is not overwhelming to you. It's actually pretty simple. It's basically just putting in the right password. But I will say that people, uh, it's possible to come become very frustrated with this if you don't have the right information. This is 99% of the reason why people have trouble setting up their Wi-Fi. So uh, really try to uh, get the, the correct information. It may be that it's written down somewhere when they came out and set up your network. Uh, there is one other factor here, and that is uh, the other thing that can keep you from connecting is settings on your router, and we've made a separate video about that. So uh, please pay very close attention to these steps and you will soon be on the internet surfing away.